Hi and welcome to Programming Assignment Experts. I'm Neil Harding and I've been programming for over 30 years. I started off with BASIC and then quickly went on to assembly language. I've done C, C++, Java, C Sharp, Python and other languages as well. Um, one of the things I've been working on for the past couple of years is I've been helping people with their uh, homeworks and tutoring. So if you have a problem I can, I'm sure I'll be able to help you or find somebody who will be able to help. Um, I always start my programming from scratch to avoid any possibility of plagiarism. So every, every time I do an, um, an assignment I start from the base. Um, I did seven copies of the same assignment for a, a group of people and um, each one I wrote using different algorithms and different so not just different variable names and different function names but I actually rewrote it for using different algorithms it came it was a bit hard at the you know on the fifth and sixth to come up with a different algorithm but I managed that um, if, if you have a tight deadline uh, let us know and I can try and accommodate that um, I'm normally available between 7 uh, a.m. and 11 p.m. Uh, PST. Although the, there are the team who who will be able to take your uh, details uh, even when I'm not around. Um, I, I love programming because each programming is a different challenge. Um, I've wrote some really complex programs such as a Java to C++ converter, um, which was um, for mobile phones and would take an application written on Java, one Java phone and allow you to run it on all the Java phones which is what they were doing at the company but I made it uh, generate C++ code and it would run on all the uh, Verizon phones mainly which used uh, Brew. Um, I also did, I so I've got very good fundamental knowledge of low level uh, stuff because of assembly language, uh, but I also know byte codes in and out. I've done a VM for the Android, uh, so I've got a lot of low level experience as well as high level experience. Um, I was writing games, which I really liked games back when it was a smaller programming team where I could do the entire program myself. Um, now this tends to be like 20, 30 people programming a single game and it's not as um, rewarding in terms of a sense of satisfaction. So that's one of the reasons why I'm, I'm doing this now. Because like I said, programming I like challenges and, and this is a good challenge. Um, I've done Python homework which has been um, stuff like from DNA sequencing to um, Word tokenizing, where you're doing natural language processing. Um, I've been doing uh, assembly language assignments from very, fairly basic, you know, input a few numbers and do some operations on them through to, you know, to a, a simple game. Um, but as I said, I've, I've been programming games commercially, so um, Sonic 3D was the biggest game I did and that was in fact in 68,000 assembly language for the um, Mega Drive and then I, or, or Genesis, and then I basically converted that to the Sega Saturn in C, and that was a, a very short tight frame, uh, it was four months. So I can do, I can do a lot of work in a very short amount of time. Um, so it, I, I know all, all the C's, you know, the data structures, you know, Link list trees, uh, binary searches, heaps, hash maps, all sorts of stuff. So if you have um, a fundamentals course and you're having problems with that, I can I can explain it or I can do the assignments for you. Um, I love assembly language because it's it's not is used as much nowadays, but it is a really good way of getting to grips with the actual hardware and you, you're having to rewrite everything from scratch which is uh, it's certainly uh, quite an interesting it, it, um, it's very difficult to do and it's, it's a lot of fun um, but I, I've done I've done the assembly language assignments in uh, 68000 uh, 8086 um, ARM uh, 
a Spark, um, MIPS, and then um, I've actually done games also in um, uh, 6502 and uh, Z80, so there's pretty much, I've, I've covered the vast majority of processes. Um, it, if you need Python, I can do, you know, file processing where you're reading CSV files and manipulating them, graphing using matplotlib, um, web frameworks, um, and then if you, when I was at university, we had, um, I was doing a course where we were doing it in Pascal and we had to play a game of Blackjack or 21 and the the assignment was, I said it was too simple and I said it could be done in the lunch hour and they said, you know, other people disputed that and uh, so, but I got the lecturer to assign an extra credit part where you could add extra features in such as twists, double down and splits and all that sort of stuff. Um, so I I actually did prove it by completing the original assignment in, in my lunch hour the same day. So that was not a problem. Um, I wrote assembly language where I've done 50,000 lines of code um, in, in a 16 week time frame. So yeah, if you have a problem, you can always call us on, um, uh, it's a US country, a US, so it's a plus one, uh, 520 837 or um, the, the, you can also contact us on the website on the live chat. Okay, I look forward to speaking to you. Bye.